Hi, Julie and Rizzo. Nice to see you today. Hi, Dr. Sarah. What brings you in? Well, we just adopted Rizzo because he was my dad's dog who recently passed away. Oh, I'm sorry. So he's really important to our family and we want to do the very best. I've been reading a lot about what's best for dogs and I'm interested in feeding him a raw food diet. Okay, well it's great. You, you want to talk a little bit about raw food diets? Mm -hmm. All right. Well, let's start with just acknowledging that raw food diets are very popular and they can be in the form of commercially prepared raw diets or homemade raw diets. Is there one or the other that you were kind of leaning toward? Mm, I don't really want to make that food. I, I don't want to make it at home. Okay, so we'll focus on talking about what's available in, in pet stores um, that you could actually purchase. Okay, that sounds better. Okay. One of the most important things to kind of realize right out the bat is that uh, they, they may or may not actually be balanced. It does depend on the manufacturer and what country they're in. Um, certainly in the United States there are some regulations that manufacturers have to follow to be able to say on the label their food is complete and balanced but in other countries that may not be the case. So, so if the food came from another country, it, it might not be balanced. Okay. And that is a concern because if the dogs don't get all of their nutrients that are met, they're at risk for some nutritional deficiencies or potentially some, some excesses. So from a nutritional quality standpoint, we have some questions. Not all raw diets are the same. So we've got safety concerns with the raw diets and not just the foods themselves, but also with the treats. You might not have known this, but there are some dehydrated treats and freeze-dried raw treats. He loves freeze-dried chicken. Does he? Yes. <laughs> well, those, those particular processed foods are also considered raw. So they've got some of the same safety concerns that the complete and balanced foods do. The second issue that we're concerned about is safety because raw foods have a greater risk for bacterial contamination. Mm -hmm. And there are several different kinds of bugs or uh, bacteria that could be problematic, mm -hmm. not only for the dogs that eat the foods, but for the people and the other pets that are in the home. I hear what you're saying, doctor, but it just still really sounds good to me. All my friends are talking about this food, they're feeding it to their dogs and they're just raving about it. Rizzo and I went to the pet food store and the guy gave us a sample and, and Rizzo gobbled it right up. I get it. I, it sounds like you really are still keen on this and you, you want to pursue this. I was wondering if maybe you would think about just taking a couple extra days to read some of the materials that we have here in the clinic. We've put together some, from credible resources, some of our own thoughts and ideas about what we're looking for with regard to these types of products and what our concerns are. And we'd like you to read that and then we could follow up in a couple of days and have this conversation again and see if we can't come to a place where we find the best food for Rizzo. Would you be willing to look at that? Yeah, I'll read it. Okay, and then we can talk again and if you do decide that you really want to try something, we'll set up a program so that you do it for a short period of time and we get a chance to reevaluate Rizzo. That's, that sounds like a good plan. Okay, we really don't want anything bad to happen to him. We want you to have him for a really long period of time. Mm -hmm. I do too. All right, thanks.